what's going on. This video is going to be about Kevin Mathers, the former uh, Seattle Mariners president CEO who was fired because he made remarks about Japanese players, Dominican uh, players, about their language issues and what have you. And the question is, where do you stand on it? Now, let's be realistic. Can we be frank for a moment? Now, that's political correctness, you know, and then there's white man's law. And when I say white man's law, uh, people have always said that if you enter America, you should speak the language and be acknowledged of it. So make up your mind. If you're going to have an interpreter, which he did, um, the real reality is this. The guy, what he said about how one of the players' English got better over time, it made me laugh because, um, let's be realistic. People do play dumb to getting over. You know, I don't know too many places that you, you have interpreters, but I don't know any places that you can go where people will um, allow you to not adapt to what's going on whenever you, you know, they always say do like the Romans, you adapt to changes of where you are. Um, you know, like if you ever have a business call, I'll call my cell phone provider different places. When somebody don't speak English, you can't understand what they're saying. The words are not co coherent and the interpretation ain't there. So you're going to have issues. So I have said that. Yeah, no. Now, I'm going to say it like this. There's a way of saying it, and then there's another way of saying it. Do I think his comments was loaded? Yeah. But do I think he should have been fired from it? No. I'll tell you why he should have been fired from it. Because America has always said using proper English, using certain words to say certain things. And he's saying what all of them said before, you know. If you're going to fire him, why don't the NFL fire all those racist owners and general managers who would not give Colin Kaepernick a job? Now, nine times out of ten, if they're saying that someone, they can't understand them, their language and got issue with the way they talk, nine times out of ten, you know what they say about somebody black. So the hypocrisy that's involved is comical. Now, the guy said that the money they were spending with the interpreter, the reason why it's getting attention from with, with the Seattle Mariners is because they stink as a baseball team. If they were winning, I doubt very seriously this would be such a big story. But they stink. They want to be politically correct. And they have had racial and image issues. You know, they've had some issues going on. So it's not exactly... The timing for the cat to say what he said wasn't exactly the right timing. Uh, suspension, deduction of pay, courses, lessons, etc. But to fire him, make him quit? No. No. Because the bottom line is, um, and it ain't got to do with the Trump factor. America's always been racist. And they've always had a double standard and code of what they say. They've allowed people, will, will the Mariners go and hire a black person to become new president CEO? I doubt it. You know, when I say that, because they're geared, they were owned by Japanese uh, Nintendo. So Japanese team, the business owners. So really, they had to have known these sort of things. This guy said what a lot of people think and say privately and some of them say publicly. You know, the, what the question is, if you're associating in a certain country, you obviously have to say, you know, how language is or so on and so forth. And I think that people are going to have a mixed opinion about it. Some are going to agree with it, some aren't. Depends on how you look at it. But, I mean, what he said is about trying to understand and clarify ain't offensive. Because, like I said before, if I got to make business calls and I'm talking to people and I can't understand what they're saying, I will gladly tell them, please, can you give me somebody who can understand what I'm saying in English? I'm not knocking them for them having a job. I'm just being honest about the clarification of words and how things are interpreted. 
And so sometimes people who knowingly are, and some people do knowingly misuse and abuse the situation because it's like, oh, he can't understand. But you understand money. So all I'm saying is Kevin Mathers, the former Seattle Mariners president CEO, was he wrong or was he right? He said it wrong in the context, but he wasn't wrong in the sense that some people do manipulate the situation to get over with it. Anyway, give me your thoughts and your takes. Was Kevin Mathers right or wrong with how he said about the English not being correct, not being understood enough? Well, you stay in on it. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. I welcome thoughts and comments on it. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for one another. And yes, we have to respect each other's differences. We should. However, we also have to consideration. Some things are not understood. Some things are understood. There's a fine line. I'm out.